Hi, I'm John Emmett here with Dinghy Coach and we've just had the Lanzarote Coaches Regatta. Somebody I've already spoken to quite a lot this year, Anne-Marie, <laughs> a great event. And uh, yeah, you've been here a long time, enjoying the venue, but tell us a little bit about the races. Four days of racing. Yeah, it was four days of racing. Um, the first day was light, which we, this is the only light day we had the, for the last three weeks. Um, so it was nice to, to start up with a light wind day. And then the last three days have been windy from the same direction. It's been very tricky today. Well, you, was, uh, you say from the down. same direction, it looked pretty up and down and left to right to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that northerly um, breeze coming in. Um, well, coming, every coming day over. Now. O over the great big over, it kind of reminded me actually of the Sugarloaf course in the Rio. Um, very tricky and yeah, you just have to be aware of um, the shift all the time. If you <laughs> if you like um, sailing header, you know that you're going to be punished. So just look at the compass and the sail, sail lift and uh, it will guide you to the top mark. That's, that's very sound advice. <laughs> Probably not giving anything away to your rivals, but you, you do want Nothing to be the tack. Nothing that they don't know already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, just that idea of the, the tack that's taking you closest to the Wimber mark and to be you're obviously a very good instinctual sailor. Yeah. Um, the score line perhaps doesn't show quite how dominant you were. There was a... There was a <laughs> few letters in that can you tell us what uh, happened there yeah so on the sec what is the first first race no second race um on the second day i was um ufd so yeah can you explain the to, the, to the to the audience at home <laughs> ufd is it means that you are over the line when the start is is going or um, maybe within or that first minute the first minute yeah so yeah there was the, it's all right it's been a long time since i've been over the line and um it just means that everybody's pushing the line and you just yeah you you want to be up there so yeah it's 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 good racing and uh, do you think that affected anything after that because it's a one discard series you couldn't take any any chances uh because another <laughs> ufd would have been most disappointing yeah yeah i was second in that race so i'm just happy to race and uh, you know it was not like i was black flag so i couldn't race that race i was still having my training and that's why we call it coaches regatta right so it's like Oh, this we, is this is just, the most important regatta of the yeah. year, isn't it? That's what they told me. <laughs> of course, it's really important, but um, we just want to get as much um, yeah. training in in big fleets as possible. And uh, I feel like we've been doing that with these uh, eight races, and uh, we just take every opportunity we have to race right now because everything is getting cancelled. And uh, yeah, who yeah, knows? It's, uh, it's uphill. <laughs> so I mean, Lanzarote, uh, you've been here a lot. When you say light winds, I think there's been barely a day lost. Uh, of sailing and that means yeah. you, you've had really really good training um, I've got to ask what what do you think's next for you you've been here for quite a while yeah we, we decided to stay one more week because obviously it's snowing in Denmark so we don't want to go home and it's such a beautiful place here training is good like you say we have no days with no wind so it's it's absolutely amazing um, so yeah we stay one more week and then we all go to Villamora for the regatta there and uh, then we'll see what up, because yeah, uh, I have no for, idea right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for somebody to tell me, to be yeah. honest, what, what's happening. I kind of think that everybody's in a waiting position and see what World Sailing would say, if we can do, go to Japan or not. And uh, we'll just take it from there, um, not get stressed about not doing the plans that we set. Um, yeah. I mean, that's that's very sound advice. I think May is a big question mark for, for everybody. And once again, congratulations. Uh, would have been even, what, 10 points further in front without that uh, yeah, UFD okay. and things looking really good for you. Thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm John Emmett here at Marina Rubicon in sunny Lanzarote. The Ilka 6 and Ilka 7 have just finished their coach regatta and I'm joined by the Ilka 7 champion. So, can you introduce yourself? Hi John, I'm Robert Scheidt. And uh, you, you came from a, a second of the previous regatta up the coast at uh, Arecife. Really nice to win here, best sailors in the world. What was it that made that little bit of difference here? Well, uh, well first, uh, it's a privilege to be here, you know. Uh, this is a very tough time for everybody, and uh, so to be able to come here in this paradise, enjoy great sailing conditions and sail against the best guys, have a regatta, even if it's not an official regatta, but still a regatta. It's uh, a regatta where it, nearly everybody's here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So the level is quite high. I was, uh, I was really happy the way I sailed this, these days. We started with some light winds on the first day, which it's not my preferred conditions, but I managed to do a, a very good first day. And from then on, the confidence kept building. And uh, yeah, we had a 
made a good series with not so many mistakes. So yeah, I was was I'm pretty happy the way I managed this these four days here. So we had a fairly typical offshore breeze. You only had to look upwind to see there's some very very high land there. So there's some big decisions to make. How did you handle that? Because uh, some really good people had some uh, some bad races on occasions. Yeah, it, it wasn't easy, especially the top of the beat. Our mark was right under the mountain. And so there was a lot of wind holes, very patchy. The wind was coming, you know, shifting 30, 40 degrees at the top. So, I mean, you, you have to be ahead of most of the fleet. That's the, that's the goal, you know. So in a shifty day like this, if you're able to run the top mark in top eight, let's say, or top six, you have you, a race. You are, you're in very good shape. So you can, you know, with the shifts, you can play, bring yourself back into a, into a top three or top five result, which wins the regatta. So uh, in the end, it's, it's, it's to try to seal the lift attack, the simple things, look out of the boat a lot, you know. That's just what Amory was saying. So it's yeah, be. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, that's that's the most important thing. You trust yourself, you sell your confidence, and and you try to make the best out of every every shift. And at some stage, you're going to make some mistakes, but it's important to keep them uh, behind you and uh, work on then uh, work and then uh, what's what's happening at the moment. You know, trying to get the best out of the moment you are in the race. Well, yeah, I mean things change very quickly, and for people who don't know Lanzarote, it's not only a big uh, hill or mountain. Uh, it's actually uh, quite uh, sort of brown volcanic, so there's a lot of heating coming off the land, and that means a lot of instability. So things change very very quickly. Uh, how how do you think this is helping you on your your road to Tokyo? Yeah, well, uh, for me, I think I the last year we basically lost. I had some injuries. I, I went through some 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 tough moments, and with also with COVID. So basically, we lost last year, and uh, so it was kind of a beginning, uh, a new beginning this year. Uh, I, I worked quite hard during the winter on the physical side, which I think helped a lot. And uh, and the period that we've been here in January, and February helped me pick up my my level a bit. Uh, great training partners with GB and, and Stefano and yeah I think we so push uh, each John, other a John lot. Baptiste from France and sorry who is the uh, Stefano, Stefano Pesquera from Peru. Yeah. Okay so some really top guys uh, here nice little working group. Yeah yeah I think working in a group helps a lot you know. You're, you're meant to mention your coach. <laughs> yeah uh, Francesco, Francesco just joined the team this week you know he wasn't with me the last time but from from now on we're gonna work together towards the game so he's a great guy a uh, great laser sailor and uh, has become a good coach too. And it's, it's nice to see people come, come back into the fleet in a, in a coaching role. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think he still misses sailing because he's still quite young and, uh, you know, he did the Olympics and you still feel there's still some fire inside him. But I think he's appreciating the, the chance to be still involved and, uh, and, and, and to, to coach at this level. Ah, oh, wonderful story. Well, thanks so much for your time. Uh, I assume I've spoken to so many people now. I assume we'll see you in Villamora? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll be there in April. Uh, a big regatta coming up and uh, yeah, a lot at stake with the, the last spots for the games. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, yeah, see you in Portugal. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.